Hello nature enthusiasts. Let's talk about trees. Not just any tree, a specific species. In fact, this one, sugar pines. Look at the size of this tree. So, sugar pines, sugar pines like this one right here and that one right there, which are growing on the bank across the river canyon from me. And this tree right behind me, another sugar pine. Before I start talking about sugar pines, my daughter has some information. Sugar pine trees are the tallest, not tree, but tallest pine tree in the world. Not only that, but sugar pine cones are actually the longest conifer cone of any species. Look at the size of those things. This one's a little older, this one's a little younger, both just enormous. So sugar pines are found from Baja all the way to Oregon, as you can see in this map. And they're a really fantastic and interesting species not just because they are the tallest pine, not just because they have the longest cones of any conifer, but also because their seeds are incredibly high in sugar, they're a little bit sweeter, and also just protein and carbohydrates in general, which makes them a really important food source for a lot of animals. Chipmunks, jays, ravens, lots of different species eat the pine nuts from sugar pines. And they're also really interesting because unlike many conifers, they can form very dense stands of the same species. Sugar pines don't. Sugar pines grow sort of one here, one there. Maybe you'll see a couple together, but not big stands of just sugar pine. They really are much more dispersed than that, which I think is just a really interesting evolutionary adaptation that they have. Unfortunately, however, Sugar pines are subject to several dangers. And this is something that, that is common, not just to sugar pines, but to many conifer species in the Western United States. One pest that they face is a fungus. It's a rust, which is a type of fungus. And the rust gets in and damages the tissue and really uh, weakens the tree. Another thing that sugar pines are susceptible to are bark beetles. There are a few different species of bark beetle that get underneath the bark, sort of bore a hole through it, and eat away at the cambium, which is the sort of the living tissue of a tree, and consume it and weaken it further and can even kill a tree. The susceptibility of sugar pines and other conifers to both the rust and bark beetles is made worse by drought conditions, which are a product of climate change. So as if the pests weren't bad enough to start with, we have this compounding issue of climate change making the Western US generally hotter and drier, which stresses the trees more which makes it easier for both rusts and bark beetles to attack them. Not only that, but the bark beetles, for example, do better when it's warmer. They don't like the cold. So as things warm up in the Western US, that not only makes it harder for the tree, just because it weakens the tree, because it needs water and it runs out of water, but it also strengthens this pest. So it's this real, significant problem that is facing sugar pines as well as like I said many other species of conifer in the western United States. Some really interesting groups are doing some really interesting work to try to combat this. There is a group that's looking at sugar pines for example and has tested 
several hundred different individual sugar pines and found some of them are more resistant to rust than others. And so they've gathered seeds from those rust resistant individuals, propagated them, and are trying to go out and plant sugar pine seedlings in the hopes that they can really jumpstart and foster this rust resistance in the sugar pine population. So projects like that are a great example of how people can really get involved and take on a specific problem and try to come up with a solution. However, the overarching issue is still climate change. We need to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, reverse climate change, and thereby really lessen the impacts of all of these issues, of the rust, of droughts, of the fires that result from the droughts, of the bark beetles on the conifer forests of the Western United States, and in particular, the sugar pines themselves. So I hope that gives you some food for thought, some things to think about, some appreciation of an amazing tree, the sugar pine, and also a little bit more of an understanding of some of the dangers facing all of our conifer forests in the Western United States. So thank you for the view, and until next time, enjoy the natural world. <laughs>